We're at Viking Aircraft Engines and it's January 2017. We're going to demonstrate the installation of a Viking fuel pump in the Sonics fuel tank. Okay, step one, you want to take your flange and just tape it down or attach it to the tank somehow and then use a um, uh, next size up from uh, 316 drill bit which is going to be your uh, 13 6 quarts and then make sure this doesn't move and then uh, drill your holes and then uh, use your half circles with the uh, studs in them and install that uh, these are eventually going to end up inside the tank but just push them down like this all the way down and install them from this side and you're going to use that you know you push that down flush to draw your circle and also you're going to use it because you're going to get a hole saw out and uh, use this as a guide to uh, to uh, drill our hole and we don't need the pilot drill and the hole saw okay so we got our hole drill and we're going to take it back apart and uh, install them from the inside and make sure we put our sealing washers on the stuff okay don't forget to install your uh, sealing washers on the uh, part prior to insertion into the tank okay now everything's deburred and this of course is easy to install you're just gonna put it into the tank like this and put the studs through and push it up okay so that's now installed so there's really no chance for this to leak because you have a sealing washer underneath each one of the studs and when that gets pulled up it'll it will seal and then the uh, fuel pump has its own seal and uh, it will seal against the surface right here which is uh, inboard of the studs makes it very easy to service you can drop the fuel pump which now is your entire fuel system out in a matter of seconds okay so what we just showed you was that uh, Viking aircraft engines uh, this is a Sonics tank laying upside down and we installed one pump here and we're going to install another pump here. The advantage of course is that there are no um, external parts to the system. You install the fuel module pump from Viking and uh, use the flanges and the nuts and everything to hold it down and you put another one over here and now you have your entire fuel system. It's very safe. It has all the components built in. It's got your filter, your check valve, your uh, 1.6 very low amperage draw connector to power up the pump, and uh, you can feed your engine. No external T's, no uh, barbs, no hoses, no, just nothing. Uh, just totally, totally clean and uh, modern fuel system for light sport aircraft. So we demonstrated this on a plastic tank, but you can install these fuel pumps in a metal airplane too. Even if the fuel tank has already been installed in the airplane, it's possible with a little ingenuity to make this work. Of course it's easier if the fuel tank is sitting on your bench, but you can make access panels. Viking sell a nice access panel with all frame already built and um, access cover and nut plates installed. So it's very easy to make an access panel in the bottom of the wing. Here's the bottom of a Zenith wing, and um, yeah, an access panel could be installed, and uh, the hole made in the tank and the pumps inserted, as shown with the half shells and the ceiling washers and so forth, as long as everything was cleaned properly. Of course, since there's not going to be fuel in the tank for a little while, lots and lots of water could be used to clean the inside of the tank and let it just run out of the big access hole. And uh, so lots of opportunity and lots of possibilities. Of course, also on a Zenit, the uh, easy way is to install these pumps ahead of time. But it's also not the end of the world, uh, and there's not that many rivets that need to be taken out. They're all pop rivets in order to pull a tank on a Zenit to put these beautiful, nice fuel system into place.